All right. Hey, guys. Adam at Verbal Guitars, and you are watching the Cigar Box Guitar Builder, and I am just going to do a very, very quick video, a video on how to install one of these uh, awesome little kits you can get from CB Giddy. Um, they're a single pickup kit, so you've got a four-pole pickup, a volume control, a tone control, and a... Um, and an output jack, all in one. It's all self-contained, all right? This is, this is the kit that I'm talking about, all right? Yeah, yeah, I know. So the, the cables are quite long and stuff like that. There's, there's a fair bit of cable in here. But that's okay. We're, like that's, I'd rather have more cable to work with than less cable to work with, right? I think we could agree with that, okay? But here's the deal, man. First and foremost... The wiring is really, really neat. Like, it is it is really, really neat, man. It is, like, very, very cool. Um, these little pickups, mate, they're monsters. They're monsters. Um, they just, they've got such a great tone. Fantastic. Um, I know at the moment, and I'm saying at the moment, but... Uh, at the point in time where this um, video is going out, um, they are out of stock of the four pole option. Um, but there is a sale at the moment for nine ninety five US on the six pole version, which is exactly the same. It's just got the two extra poles. It makes no difference at all on your cigar box guitar, whether it's a three string or a four string. Um, it doesn't matter as long as your strings are passing within the magnetic fields here of these poles. It doesn't matter whether the strings are passing over the poles or next to the poles or between the poles. It literally, it does not matter. So what I wanted to show you here today was how simple it was to actually install one of these pickups. But I wanted to just set this up for you and show you how super simple it was to wire this guitar up. Now, I literally, literally do not need to use a soldering iron on this kit, okay? Totally solder free, because everything's already here. 100%, I promise you that. All right, a couple of things we've got here. The very first thing we've got is obviously connected to this pickup will be this pickup surround, the two screws that I've got here that you can see poking through the bottom of, that, uh, of the top there, okay? springs that'll sit on those screws so that you can tighten, lower and raise the pickup height using the springs to keep the tension. You've got a volume control. Now you'll see, know the volume control, okay, super easy because the volume control does not have the capacitor attached. The capacitor is attached to this one here and this one here is the tone control. So here's your volume control. And there's your tone control, all right? Obviously, coming off your volume control is your output jack, okay? I'm showing you how fast this is, man, and this is gonna, this is gonna blow your mind. Are you ready for this? Here we go. All right, I've got my pickup hole cut, all right? And I've got, I've screwed this down to the top, just here, so the outside screws there, I've screwed those down to the top. All right, here we go. I'm going to put the springs on the pickup screws. There we go. Now I'm going to hold that up. Now, what I like to do, it doesn't matter. I have the, the, the wiring facing down the body or down towards the bridge. It really doesn't matter. But just for convenience, I do. I've got my screwdriver, and all I'm going to do now is I'm going to just wind on the screws. And it's literally this simple. All right. Here we go. Bada bing. Bada bang. Bada boom. And as I said, you can order these pickups from CB Giddy. Okay. Use the affiliate link, guys. Okay. If you're watching this video, and you want 10% off your CB Giddy order, just use the affiliate link, okay? Now watch this, I'm gonna flip this over here. 
I'll tidy up the wires in just a minute. But look how much wire you've got there. And the wire now comes down to this pot and this pot here. All right. Now I flip it over. Now I want my volume control to be at the front and I like my tone control at the back. It's up to you as to where, the, where you put it. But all the wires are there. Here we go. I'm just gonna get my, there we go. I've got two, one, two. Now, I'm using a three millimeter top on this. You can see that's fairly thin, okay? So I'm using a three mil top. Um, I'm actually gonna, because these, these pots have got slightly taller shafts, what I'm actually going to do is I've got some, I've got actually got some extra nuts here and I'm actually going to screw these on. And just to give it a little bit of height, uh, just to bring the height down a little bit, that is, sorry. So that's just something I'm going to do. I've always got these extra ones. Um, and I can actually adjust it. I want a little bit more height out of that. So it's it's really handy. I promise you, it's actually really handy to have all of these extra... Um, the, the nuts that go on. Because it just... I don't know, man. It just makes life easier. Just... Having extra parts around really helps. So when you're doing your orders and things like that, it can be really helpful. Like CB Giddy also sell extra screws and things like that for machine heads. And I love using those. I can use those for anything, man. It's just that you can use them for um, for neck position dots. Um, you can use, you know, you just count it, just recess the screw holes. Um, there's, I just tighten that up now. Tighten that one up. Just tightening this one up now. There we go. Here's my shifter. There you go. Look at that. Easy peasy, man. All right. Putting that there. Now, I'm going to put a brace. Now, you know this with these builds, okay? Um, I See how much room I've got in here when I've, when I've built this? I've got heaps and heaps and heaps of room. To, but I'm going to put a brace across the top just to give it a little bit of structural integrity as well. Um, not that there's any, all the tension's being held by the neck, uh, by that neck tenon that runs through. But if I put um, a piece of um, thicker ply underneath here, what's gonna happen is it just stops the, the top kind of warbling and it, it just kind of, yeah, it just, just gives a little bit of, um, I've got an earth wire here, all right, as well. And I'm gonna put, so my earth wire, Let's get the dust out of there for a second. Um, get my earth wire, and I'm going to just push my earth wire now here. Now, the earth wire is attached to the tone control, and I've got a wire that's going to go across the back, and I'm using the C, this um, string retainer, okay, from CB Giddy, which is going to sit on the back just there on the guitar. And the earth wire is actually going to be attached right here uh, underneath so it's going to come through the back so i'll show you this in a second so that's all i need to do there um as i said i'm gonna i'm gonna put a a, a tension bar just here but i'm gonna put my first and foremost output jack output jack goes in the back now i've got a recess here in the back just there on the guitar if you can see that all right i won't do it all the way tight yet because i'm I've just got a little bit of work I want to do on the inside of the guitar to start with. And this is going to fit here. Now, I get my earth wire. If you can see that earth wire just there, I've actually drilled a hole through the back of the guitar here, just into there. And I'm going to put that wire. Now, remember, I'm going to tidy up these wires a bit. And I'm going to push this wire through. I'm just going to close that up. All right, here we go. And there's the wire. Can you see that wire there? Just coming out the back. Now I get that wire, I'm just gonna give it a bit of a yank. Bit of a pull. 
And I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna get my wire shredders. There we go. And as I'm pulling it out off there, I give it a bit of a twist. There we go, giving it a bit of a twist. And that just helps. It really, really does. I'm gonna put that there. And then I have another little trick. I bend it and put put a little twist in it. You see I've done that? I've put a little twist there. You can see that there. There's a little twist. And what I've actually got, now you can use anything that's metallic if you want to. Um, I've even got some um, aluminium foil or aluminum for our American friends. Some aluminum foil. Uh, but because I'm Australian, I'm going to say aluminium. Um, but the other thing I've actually got floating around here somewhere, and I know it's floating around here somewhere because it's teasing me. There it is. I've actually got... Get off here. I've actually got a little bit of this copper tape. And I'm going to pop this copper tape there and just stick that on. But I'll put that underneath... I love this stuff because I then know for sure that even if that wire gets embedded a little bit into the timber, I know it's still touching metal to metal to metal. All right. Sounds like a heavy metal song, doesn't it? Metal to metal to metal. Sounds like an anvil song, actually. Metal to metal. All right. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Now here, I've got my volume control. There we go. So if I've got that turned up all the way, I like having a little bit of bit of angle on it. I'm just going to press that on. And I've got my tone control. There you go. Put that on. You can you, you can order different knobs as well from CB Giddy. And um, yeah, this is this is when it's sitting on there. It's just got a little bit of flex, and I don't want this to have much flex. I want it to be quite sturdy. So I'm going to glue on um, a little bit of um, a little bit of ply across here, probably two pieces. I might do another H brace. If you remember the um, this guitar that I'm building here, it's exactly the same. It's almost the same size. This is for this guitar. This particular box is for the new start, the new Duke Joint Rocker. Because I'm actually thinking of making sure the Duke Joint Rocker, here we go, got all these bits cut out. And that's the H brace that I put in there, okay? And it it just, it stops it from the back from wobbling because it's a big box. And I want it to have some real structural integrity. And now because I've got this extra bracing in here, it really does. Listen. Sounds great, doesn't it? So I'm going to do that again. I'm actually going to do that to the top of the big wolf box. What I do with these ones, just going off topic a little bit, on the underside here, this is where I put my signature um, sound hole covers, my sync strainer sound hole covers underneath. But I'll actually put another torsion bar just here to stop this from bending and wobbling. It really gives it some extra strength. So that I'm just going to pop that over here. So, literally, you can see how fast this is to put together. Now, as I said, as of the day that this video is being put out, CB Giddy are out of stock on the four-pole um, pickups. Um, but they do have the six-pole pickups in stock at the moment for and on sale for $9.99 US, um, which even if you're shopping here in Australia or at New Zealand, it's still really quite comparable. Um, in fact, it's a little cheaper at the moment than anything on eBay. eBay currently have anywhere between $15 and $18, I think, at the moment, um, plus shipping. So it's, like, it's not cheap. So here's the deal, man. If you want to support this channel and you want to get a good deal for yourself, what you need to do, go down to the bottom to the, um, uh, to the description, and in the description you will find an affiliate link to 
uh, from Birdwood Guitars to CB Giddy. Uh, and if you use the um, the promo code Birdwood, you will get 10% off the total price of your order. Okay, and Australian and New Zealand shippers, we are um, actually doing quite well with our shipping rates. Uh, CB Giddy have uh, really been working the shipping rates and shipping rates have come down for Australia and New Zealand. Uh, so there's no excuse not to go and order some awesome parts. And as I said, if you're a beginner or even a seasoned builder, these pickups are fantastic, man. They have got so much punch. They are absolutely punchy. Um, and they play so well. So this is going to be a fretless guitar, uh, fretless Big Wolf. Um, it will have, it will be earthed on the back to this piece here. And we can have a little look down here at the guitar. This is what it's going to look like. So you got your um, string retainer here. Bridge is going to be sitting about here. Please um, subscribe. Please click like. Click like and go to CB Giddy and get your stuff. Use the affiliate link and you'll save yourself a packet. You'll help the show and man, just build something, play something, have a ball. I'm out of here. See ya.